dear students i will continue the problems on uh, linear combination and uh, span of the vectors we studied till the last uh, lecture the theorem on the span where w was the subspace in the given vector space and that w was uh, uh, to be proved uh, as a subspace in the main uh, vector space that is b with the given set of vectors given set of vectors means u1 u2 u3 and so on so followed by the scalars that is c1 c2 c3 and so on therefore we proved also one theorem in that theorem there are two results or two discussions we have proved one was the condition of uh, vector addition and the another one was scalar multiplication these two conditions were satisfied by w then we say that w is closed under vector addition w is closed under uh, scalar multiplication thereby w was the subspace in the main vector space now the next uh, uh, discussion on the application of this uh, subspace as a uh, in the form of a problem i, I shall prove how this subspace uh, w is to be proved in the main vector space the example is like this <coughs> define the span of each of the following each of the following sets of vectors sets of vectors that is a u1 z equal to 1 0 0 and u2 z equal to 0 1 0 and the second question for the same statement of the question that is u1 is equal to 1 0 1 0 and u2 is equal to 0 1 comma 0 and minus 1 the answer for the first question here we have to describe the span of the following sets of vectors there are two set uh, vectors are given here also two vectors are given we have defined the span for the uh, general uh, <coughs> combination of the vectors otherwise general uh, set of vectors like u1 u2 u3 and so on okay but here only two vectors are given now the answer for the first question the span of these vectors is uh, that is span symbol we write let span of the vectors that is u1 u2 this is the symbolic representation where we take the linear combination that is a into u1 plus b into u2 is equal to that is a into for the first question there are three values inside u1 that is a into u1 is 1 0 0 and plus of b into that is 0 comma 1 uh, that is 0 now if you take this uh, scalar inside that is a comma 0 that means a into 0 comma 0 plus b into 0 that is inside the bracket that is b into 0 is 0 and second one b into 1 is b comma 0 so now i shall take these two sets of values like uh, the combination that should be equal to uh, 1 0 0 here a into u1 and b into u2 okay then uh, a is multiplied to the first vector and b is multiplied to the second vector then this is equal to a plus 0 comma 0 plus 0 and comma 0 plus this is b and 0 plus 0 so when this is the case we will get a plus 0 is equal to a 0 plus b is equal to b and 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 that means in the left side a into u1 plus b into it is u2 a into u1 plus b into u2 is equal to a into b, a comma b comma 0 as a linear combination of these given vectors because there are two vectors given 
u1 and u2 with the corresponding values where we have multiplied the scalars and uh, finally we can uh, get the linear combination in this form therefore span of that is u1 u2 will be under will be all of the vectors all of the vectors in that is r cube region with uh, three values that means region with three values means that is region is region for first vector is u1 with the uh, three values that is region whole cube that is region part, uh, region to the power 3 we can define so then that implies for any choices of for any choices of a and b we can we can calculate that means we can compute we can compute a into u1 plus b into u2 so this is the linear combination and this is the answer for the first question that means define the span of the following vectors so span of this much will be the will be all of these vectors when we have the choices of this a and b and the answer for the second question in the same form that is you consider that uh, two vectors u1 and u2 similarly solution for the second question similarly we choose the linear combination we choose the linear combination as that is a into u1 plus b into u2 is equal to that should be first one a into 0 I am sorry that is 1 0 1 0 and plus of b into 0 1 0 minus 1 then this is when you are taking a inside that is a comma 0 comma a comma 0 plus of b into 0 that is 0 uh, and that is b and 0 that is b means minus b then you can take uh, the uh, corresponding combination that should be a plus 0 first value here and first value here second value here and second value here this is comma 0 plus b then 1 means a here third value that is third value from the first bracket is a and third value from the second bracket is 0 a plus 0 and the fourth value from the bracket a bracket first that is 0 and minus of b then what are the final values that means final simplification you will be getting like uh, adding 0 to the selected uh, scalars that means a and b and a and it is minus b so these are the uh, values on the right side for the linear combination uh, followed by the scalars a into u1 plus b into u2 so this is the linear combination for uh, given two vectors implies <coughs> span uh, of u1 comma u2 span of u1 comma u2 will be with the open choices of this a value b value a value and minus b value that should be is of all will be of all vectors will be of all vectors means u1 and u2 will be of all vectors from which region for r to the power of 4 because there are four values 1 2 3 4 we write that region power 4 that is the region if there are two values we write 2 r to the power 2 and three values as we did in previous problem that is r to the power 3 this is in the region r to the power of 4 then this here also for any choice for any choices of a and b a and b we take we take the span we take the span 
of the given vectors that is u1, u2. So, this is the answer for the part B of the question. Now, similarly, we take uh, the solution for the next uh, problem. Another situation I will consider to prove that span of the given vectors. find otherwise represent find the span find the span of each of the following vectors each of the following vectors vectors given like a and b question a in the question a u1 in the form of matrix that is 1 0 0 0 and u2 is equal to 0 0 0 1 this is first question and second question is in the form of three vectors given that is u1 u2 u3 in the second question that is b u1 is equal to 1 and u2 is equal to x and u3 is equal to x square this is slightly different from the previous situation. Here first question is in terms of the uh, matrices and second question is in terms of the polynomial that is x square x and that is symbol. This is not x square, this is x cube that means third degree equation solution. Find the span of each of the vectors. There are two vectors u1 and u2. Let here also we choose the same symbols like uh, let u takes the linear combination u takes the linear combination of u1 and u2 in terms of that means uh, uh, with i can say with the scalars with the scalars a and b respectively a and b it is respectively what is that u we are taking that is u is equal to a into u1 plus uh, b into u2 but here it is given in the form of matrices okay so let us represent same thing in the form of the given matrices what is that first matrix first matrix is only one number is non zero second matrix also one number is non zero here also non zero number that is a into matrix this is a scalar multiplication to the matrix 1 0 <coughs> 0 0 and plus of this is b multiplied by first row is 0 0 second row is 0 and 1 okay so we will uh, multiply the uh, the matrix by the scalar that we are getting it as a 0 0 0 plus of multiplied by b into 0 that is 0 and b into 0 b into 0 this is 0 b into 1 that is b this is for u <coughs> then we take uh, the corresponding uh, uh, additions that means corresponding uh, elements inside the matrix with uh, addition that means first element with first element first element uh, uh, sorry second element with second element and uh, this is first column second element like that so inside the matrix a plus 0 and then 0 plus 0 next 0 plus 0 next is 0 plus b then what is the simplification that means this is just like uh, uh, two matrices a plus b right addition of the two matrices is again a matrix then this can be taken as a this is 0 and 0 that is b so these diagonal elements are non zero and above is zero and below is zero so according to the uh, diagonal elements then this uh, in the diagonal matrices this uh, span of the function will happen this clearly indicates clearly indicates i can say that diagonal elements diagonal elements a and b are non zero a and b elements are non zero that clearly implies span 
span of u1 and u2 u1 and u2 is will be for will be for what is the uh, conclusion we have written for the previous problem same conclusion you have to write that means here a and b are arbitrary so a and b are arbitrary means we have to take open choices of a and open choices of b because we do not know the value but this should not be equal to 0 if it is equal to 0 then you will get it as null space null space means that is 0 0 0 0 all the elements inside the matrix are 0 then you will call it as a null space but for any choices for any choices because here a and b are arbitrary any choices of a and b that means a and b are arbitrary so this we can uh, arbitrary this we can claim that means what the value of a you are going to assign uh, uh, b uh, a and b you are going to assign in the form of a pair of numbers this matrix will be uh, the outcome of it that means a equal to 1 b equal to 1 that is in the diagonal elements that becomes the unit matrix if a equal to 2 and b equal to 1 that is uh, uh, diagonal matrix diagonal matrix means above are 0 and below are 0 if a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 that is also diagonal matrix like uh, only in the case of a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 you will get uh, the matrix with uh, uh, unity that means on the principal diagonal the, therefore this is also forming a span of uh, these two vectors that is u1 and u2 for any open choices of that is a and b thereby the span of these two vectors can be concluded with this uh, resulting matrix but the values are depending on open choices of a and b and this is for uh, the first question now second question that you have to answer what is the second question here three vectors are there okay so now here also we take the span that is for the answer for the next one span of uh, that is u1 that is u2 is such that <coughs> is such that that is u is equal to that is u1 means a into u1 plus b into u2 let us see how this uh, also behaves that is a into u that is 1 plus b into that is u2 and one more is there you can also uh, assign a third scalar that is c into u3 because there are three vectors here then b into that is x and plus c into it is x cube but left side is that is equal to u therefore the final form of the equation is uh, uh, c into x cube in the decreasing powers of the polynomial you can take c into x cube plus b into x plus of a this is u therefore this depends on the open choices of uh, c and x here c a b c are the scalars you can take where a b and c are the scalars a b c and uh, a, a b c are the scalars then the uh, final conclusion that is span of span of here also u3 and that means there are three values span of span of u1 u2 and u3 u3 will be will be span of in the flower bracket that is u1 u2 and u3 u3 <coughs> will be will be for all vectors will be for all vectors will be for all vectors uh, with choices for what choices they are the scalars choices of a b and c this is the answer for the second question but everywhere that linear according to the linear combination then you have to declare what is the span of that 
set of uh, given set of vectors. Given set of vectors here uh, in the first case are 2, in the second case are 3. In the first case are 2 means there are choices for uh, uh, defining the span with the 2, uh, two numbers, the, sorry 2 symbols that is A and B. But in the second case there are choices for 3 symbols that means A, B, C. This is a cubic equation thereby u is equal to c into x cube plus b into x plus a. Therefore, span will be set of vectors for 3 vectors that is u1, u2 and u3. But that will not be finalized unless you select, unless you select arbitrary values for a, b, c. That is called span of the uh, set of vectors uh, given 3 vectors that you have to declare. Okay. So, continuation of this we will be studying in the vector space again the next uh, part of this uh, uh, span of uh, span of this uh, uh, function as another concept as linear dependence and linear independence. So, what is linear dependence and what is linear independence? That means linearly independent when you say that all the three uh, for example, uh, three vectors are given and three unknowns are given all the three unknowns will take uh, individual values then we say that they are linearly independent. Suppose one unknown is depending on another unknown then we call that linearly dependent. It is just like a common meaning we can say that, but what, are, what is the algebraic condition that we can prove uh, like uh, u1 is independent of u2 and u3 and u2 is independent of u1 and u3 and u3 is independent of u1 and u2 if you consider the set of 3 vectors. If you consider uh, only set of 2 vectors u1 and u2 how u1 is independent of u2 and how u2 is independent of u1 that is the next definition that we are going to learn. I will put it in a short form what is the meaning of linear dependence and what is the meaning of linear independence. So, thereby we can also study the corresponding example uh, to prove that how the linear dependence and independence will be studied. Okay. So, the next definition that I am going to take up is linear independence and dependence. Linear independence and linear dependence. of the vectors of the vectors the, even that also comes under uh, the real number system uh, followed by unknowns real number system followed by unknowns means uh, you have two equations with two unknowns and three equations with three unknowns there also we choose that how they are linearly dependent and linearly independent so first of all linear uh, uh, independence definition I will write. Let S is equal to set of vectors u1, u2 and so on that is up to un is a non-empty set is a non-empty set of vectors non-empty set of vectors u1, comma u2 and so on up to un we form we form the vector equation, we form the vector equation with what values corresponding scalars, with corresponding scalars as C1 u1 plus C2 u2 plus up to un you have to write and so on plus Cn u n is equal to 0, where, where uh, the solution has a trivial uh, this equation if I call it as 1, where equation 1, equation 1 has a trivial solution. What is the trivial solution? trivial solution in matrix also we study, trivial solution in the linear combination of the equation also we study. So, trivial solution is nothing but C1 is 0, C2 is 0 up to Cn is 0 because right side is 0 means you are comparing each coefficient to the RHS, each coefficient to the RHS means first term it consists of which, which constant and second term consists of which constant, 
Similarly, nth term consists of which constant? Thereby, we call it as trivial solution such that such that trivial for the trivial solution that is c1 equal to 0, c2 equal to 0 and so on up to <coughs> cn is equal to 0. Suppose if these are uh, uh, not 0, then we do not say that uh, they are linearly independent, they are linearly dependent. So, uh, only trivial solution should exist here, then they are said to be uh, linearly independent. So, we conclude that this implies the given set of vectors, the given set of vectors, the given set of vectors means u1, u2, u3 and so on. That is u1, comma u2 and so on up to un are linearly independent. Linearly independent. <coughs> linearly independent means this coefficient is equal to 0 this coefficient is equal to 0. That means, each term is equal to 0. In other words, we study in the uh, theory of equations. In the theory of equations, what uh, the basic mathematics says? Each term should be compared with 0, but here we consider each coefficient that means, we call them as scalars c1, c2, they are nothing but 0. Therefore, the corresponding uh, solution is nothing but called as a trivial solution. Trivial means it is obvious, we start from 0 and other than 0 means if any for example, for any given equation if these c1, c2, c3 non-zero numbers are going to be satisfied then we call it as unique solution. That it is not a unique solution here to say that they are linearly independent. To say that the given set of vectors are linearly independent then we claim that all the scalars must be uh, taking the value of 0. Therefore, it is called as trivial solution. Okay. Uh, uh, of course, otherwise, otherwise, otherwise the solution is, otherwise solution is not trivial. That's all. Not trivial. Not trivial means what? That means set of vectors or the set of vectors means u1, u2, u3 up to un. Set of vectors u1, u2 and so on up to un or or linearly or linearly dependent. This is what the basic meaning of linearly independent and linearly dependent. So, this is the case of linearly independent and this is the case of linearly dependent. That means, trivial solution, but not a trivial solution. So, for this condition and for this condition respectively you are going to define these two words. Now, I shall prove one or two examples how this concept is going to be proved when you are given what is u1 in the form of some numbers, what is u2 in the form of some numbers, or we call them as uh, each vector, each vector is a, a set of numbers. Then how we are going to form the equation as a linear combination and how linearly independent and linearly dependent concept is going to be explained. So, that we shall take up uh, in the next uh, uh, situation as a problem. The problem on this concept is determine, first you have to learn the definition because you have to understand this definition. Before I, before I rub it, once again I repeat, this is a trivial solution linearly independent, not a trivial solution that is linearly dependent. I will prove that concept in the example. Uh, determine whether each of the following each of the following sets of vectors, following sets of vectors are linearly independent, linearly independent or linearly dependent. 
first first uh, numerical values first set of numerical values it is given that is u1 is equal to 3 minus 1 and u2 is equal to that is minus 2 comma plus 2 second problem that means second set of numerical values u1 is equal to that is 12 and minus 8 and u2 is equal to minus 9 and 6 third one with the three values these are with the two sets of values but this is third one is three values u1 is 1 0 0 and u2 is equal to 3 minus 5 and 4 and u3 is equal to 0 1 1 so this much now i shall answer one by one to prove that the linear combination of the vectors when i take they are said to be linearly independent or linearly dependent we shall verify for all these three questions now uh, answer for the first question let the given vectors u1 is equal to 3 comma minus 1 and u2 is equal to uh, sorry u2 is equal to minus 2 comma 2 be the two vectors be the two vectors such that such that you have to define it as a linear combination uh, according to the definition what is that such that the linear combination linear combination of these vectors of these vectors of these vectors means how many there are two vectors here two vectors here and three vectors linear combination means followed by two scalars c1 and c2 uh, these vectors linear combination of these vectors followed by two scalars followed by two scalars c1 and c2 as c1 and c2 as c1 u1 plus c2 u2 you have to equate to 0 you have to equate to 0 means c1 multiplied by what is that u1 that is ordinary brackets 3 comma minus 1 here plus of c2 multiplied by that is minus 2 comma plus 2 that is equal to 0 so now you can form two linear equations linear equations means c1 to the power 1 and c2 to the power 1 because linear means degree is 1 degree is 1 okay so 3 c1 and uh, minus of 2 c2 you can group in one bracket and plus of with this plus sign and minus of c1 and plus of 2 c2 is equal to 0 so these are the two equations when you compare what is that uh, uh, linearly independent that means trivial solution you must get a trivial solution means what that is c1 equal to 0 and c2 equal to 0 but actually when you calculate what are the values of c1 and c2 for the given these two vectors with uh, numerical values okay and now i shall take uh, this one as uh, 3 times c1 and uh, minus of c2 minus of c2 is equal to 0 and minus 2 c uh, minus of c1 uh, sorry this is c2 no sorry this is c1 minus uh, 3 c1 minus 2 times of c2 that is equal to 0 here minus of c1 and plus 2 c2 that is equal to 0 so these two are the equations now you have to solve these two equations first equation this is also linear because c1 to the power 1 c2 is to the power 1 this is also power 1 and this is also power 1 therefore both the equations are called as uh, what type of equations you are discussed in uh, uh, matrices they are said to be homogeneous equations they are said to be homogeneous equations means here you have to solve for the values of c1 and c2 okay now minus 2 c2 and plus 2 c2 this can be cancelled by just adding because same coefficients with the different signs am i correct uh, 
that is 3 minus 1 minus 2, 2, 3 minus 1 that means 3 C 1 and minus 2 C 2, okay. this is first equation that is equal to 0 because you have to compare and second equation that is minus C 1 and plus of 2 times of C 2 minus C 1 that is plus 2 times of C 2 is equal to 0, that is right. Then you are adding this, uh, when you add uh, you will be getting that is 2 times C 1 is equal to 0, this is the particular value. So, particular value means what? C 1 is equal to 0 divided by 2, this is equal to 0, that means C 1 is equal to 0 means what the value of uh, C 2 that you have to verify. Therefore, from this equation or from this equation, anyone you can take, anyone you can take, that means C 1 equal to 0, you can put it here, put it here and then uh, that is 3 into 0 minus of 2 into C 2 that is equal to 0 implies that is C 2 is also 0. So, what is your conclusion according to our linear independence and dependence? Trivial solution. So, trivial solution means both the constants must be taking the calculated values as 0 comma 0. Obviously, we are getting here 0 and here also we are getting 0. This clearly implies this clearly implies C 1 equal to 0 comma C 2 equal to 0 is called what type of solution is called the trivial solution. According to the definition, this is called trivial solution. So, trivial solution means what? What is your question? Determine whether each of the following sets of vectors are linearly independent or linearly dependent. The first problem we are answering the uh, sets of vectors u1 and u2. Therefore, the sets of vectors, sets of vectors, what is that? u1 and u2 are set to be are set to be what type u1 and u2 are set to be linearly linearly independent correct huh? linearly it is independent so this is what the conclusion i hope uh, the first question is clear that means there are two sets of vectors we have made linear combination in this form the equation, we have equated to 0, each uh, coefficient we must equate to 0, as a result you will get two equations and solving those two equations, if you are getting the values as first uh, scalar as 0 and second scalar as 0, because there are two vectors and you have attached uh, two scalars, both are 0 means it is a trivial solution. When once it is trivial solution that is uh, uh, going to be proved the given two sets of vectors are said to be linearly independent, linearly it is independent. If these two are not 0, then you will say that they are linearly dependent. So, we will try to answer the second question for the same statement, this is b and uh, let u is equal to something and b is equal to something with the two vectors such that linear combination. Okay. I will retain the same thing, uh, now I shall uh, form the two equations and what are the uh, values that we are going to calculate and what is the result that you are going to prove in the same type of statement. Okay. So, here the answer for the question B, right? and u1 is equal to 12 comma minus 8, that is second question answering 12 comma minus 8 and the second vector minus 9 comma 6. Okay minus 9 comma 6 and 12 comma 8 is the group of vectors, two vectors it is given and I will attach uh, two scalars, two scalars linear combination of the vectors with uh, two scalars. What are those two scalars? C 1 and C 2. Let me write C 1 u 1 plus C 2 u 2 is equal to 0, then C 1 and in place of u 1 I will write 12 comma minus 8. Okay? 12 comma minus 8 plus of C 2 in the brackets that is minus 9 comma uh, minus 9 comma 6. This is to be equated to 0. When once you form this equation in terms of vectors and in terms of the scalars that you have chosen. So, how many 
vectors are given, so many scalars you have to choose. Okay. So, uh, you cannot uh, attach uh, uh, like uh, uneven number of uh, scalars, but first of all you have to observe how many vectors are given. How many vectors are given? First one two vectors, second one two vectors, but third one three vectors are given. There you require three scalars to be operated and three equations you have to handle, three equations you have to solve. What are the values of C1, C2 and then C3? That, you, that will be in the next question. So, now here I will answer by taking the equations that is first one is coefficient is 12, that is 12 C1 minus 9 C2 equal to 0. Now, minus 8 C1 and 6 C2 is equal to 0. Now, we have two equations. How this second uh, question behaves? That means, second calculation behaves. First calculation was very clear, uh, both are 0, 0, then trivial solution. Now, here we will see how this behaves. Okay. So, 12 is there and then 9 is there, here 8 is there and uh, 6 is there. Okay. Then we have to find out the values of the constants. So, values of the constants means you have to make the coefficient same. Coefficient same means here you can reduce this equation by dividing throughout by 3. 3 4s are 12, that is 4 times C1 minus 3 3s are 9, that is C2 is equal to 0. And here you can write uh, uh, that is a 2, by 2 you can write that is 4 with minus, dividing by 2 you can make it make out uh, 4 times C1 and plus of 3 times 2 4s are 8 and 2 3s are 6, uh, that is C2 is equal to 0. Here the interesting uh, thing happens both the equations are same. Both the equations are same means what? What is your conclusion? That you have to solve for the values of C1 and C2. So, what values you are going to expect as uh, when both the equations are same? That clearly implies here. That means, when you solve these equations, one is plus, another one is minus. Therefore, this also cancels and this also cancels. That means, one equation you are going to take that is C1 is equal to 0 and C2 is equal to 0. Therefore, uh, these equations, uh, one equation is the same as the other equation. Thereby, here both the equations, here both the equations are same, both the equations are same such that, such that the solution can be taken as such that the solution can be taken as solution can be taken as one value you can uh, take it as t that means c1 you can take it as t and c2 you have to write that means c1 uh, c1 you can take it as t otherwise c2 you can take it as t any one of those two you have to put it in the form of some parameter that is t is a parameter then when t is some value that is c is equal to t, then uh, c2 is equal to, take any one equation here, take any one equation, c2 uh, uh, that is uh, what value you are going to assign? Uh, of course, first equation I will take, c2 takes the calculation that means 4 c1 minus 3 c2 is equal to 0. I am putting c1 is equal to t, that is 4 into t minus 3 into C2 is equal to 0. Thereby, uh, you can declare C2 is equal to 40 divided by 40 divided by it is 3. There, therefore, here your conclusion for expecting the trivial solution to say that they are linearly independent C1 is equal to T and C2 is equal to 4 t divided by 3, it all depends on the value of t, implies, implies uh, if c 1 is equal to 0 and c 2 is equal to 4 into 4 into that is 4 by 3 into 0, that is also 0, implies trivial, trivial, but, but t can take because more than one value, no? this is c 1 is equal to t means only one value you have substituted, 
but t can take t can take more than one value more than one value more than one value so here we cannot say only for one case we can say that trivial solution when t is equal to 0 but when t is not equal to 0 we cannot say that it, is, it has a trivial solution it has a non trivial solution non trivial solution means all are not equal to 0 so this is the answer for the next question that means not a trivial solution that is your conclusion not a trivial solution for the second question but only when t equal to 0 then you will be getting both are 0 that is the only case but my several cases will exist because you are going to substitute t is less than 0 and greater than 0 Bo both the numbers you can assign so more than one uh, uh, trivial solution uh, other solutions also will exist thereby we cannot declare it has got a single trivial solution only single tri uh, trivial solution was existing in the first uh, set of vectors that that was the answer now the second question uh, sorry third question which is to be answered with uh, three vectors uh, these two uh, discussions first question and second question with the set of two vectors but now the third question is with uh, set of three vectors okay so now i shall write those three vectors <coughs> for the answer c let u1 is equal to what number that is 1 0 0 first vector and u2 is equal to 0 1 0 and u3 is equal to uh, no no uh, that is u2 u1 is equal to that much and u2 is equal to not this much this is 3 uh, and then minus 5 it is 4 and u3 is equal to 0 1 and then 1 0 1 1 therefore define how many scalars you have to define for these three vectors because three vectors are there means you have to define three scalars okay then define c1 c2 and c3 as three scalars three scalars such that such that uh, you have to write a linear combination such that linear combination is uh, that is c1 u1 plus c2 u2 plus c3 u3 is equal to 0 uh, then attach all the three vectors c1 multiplied by 100 0, 0 plus c2 multiplied by 3 minus 5 4 plus c3 multiplied by 0 that is 1 and 1 is equal to 0 here also we do the same thing we form three equations and we will say that how these three equations are to be solved and what are the meanings of those three equations uh, uh, whether uh, they are going to give trivial solution or not going to give the trivial solution okay so the first coefficient c1 into 1 c2 into 3 and c3 into 0 you can solve these three equations simultaneously that is c1 plus of 3 times c2 plus of 0 into c3 is equal to 0 uh, because every coefficient you have to equate to 0 that is 0 into c1 minus 5 into c2 and plus 1 into c3 that is equal to 0 0 into c1 and uh, 4 into c2 plus 1 into c3 that is equal to 0 and finally you have these three equations finally that means uh, c1 plus 3 c2 is equal to 0 and minus 5 c2 plus c3 is equal to 0 and minus 4 c2 plus c3 equal to 0 these are the three important equations you are getting now you have to solve these three equations to find the values of c1 c2 and c3 because uh, these three equations uh, will give 
the values if all the three are leading to C1 is 0, C2 is 0, C3 is 0, we get a trivial solution. If you are not getting a trivial solution, then we will declare that they are linearly uh, dependent. So, the values of these three calculations that is C1, C2, C3. So, solving that you can try on your own, uh, these three equations you can try on your own, substitute C2 in terms of C3 in this equation, then find uh, the value of C1. That is C1 equal to 0, C2 equal to 0, C3 equal to 0. What is your conclusion then? All the three are leading to 0. This clearly implies trivial solution. This clearly implies trivial solution. Therefore, in this trivial solution means the given vectors, the given vectors, how many vectors? U1, U2 and U3. What is your conclusion? Are linearly independent. Linearly independent. This is your final conclusion. So, if they are uh, not giving the trivial solution, we will say that they are linearly dependent. So, with, with this, I would like to stop my lecture uh, for this discussion. I will continue in my next lecture. Thank you.